Hello, and thank you for joining me. In this video, we'll be reviewing the stock purchase order approval process. We'll start off by setting up the approval process in the system configuration. To access the system configuration, we just need to navigate to the admin dropdown in the main navigation ribbon and select system configuration as a user with admin privileges. Here in the system configuration page, we can select purchase order approvals from the panel on the left. The approval system can be set up to use a two approval process, but for this example, we'll only be using one. Our first step is to enable approval one. We can choose to send an email to the user who created the purchase order, letting them know that it's pending. We'll then select the person who will be the approver. We can choose the creator's manager, if that information is set up in the user's person file. We can select one person to always get the approvals, or we can set it to be approved by any user with the admin security privileges. Next, we can choose to send notifications to both the creator and the approver if the purchase order is not approved. And our last option here, we'll send an email to the creator or the approver if the purchase order is approved. If you would like to set up a second approval process, simply repeat the steps below. In the end, don't forget to save. Okay, so I've logged out as my admin user and logged back in as a full user so that we can create the purchase order. Now we'll simply go up to the purchase orders in the main navigation ribbon, and then from here, we'll go and add a new one. Now I've gone ahead and created a new purchase order here, and we are at the point where we are ready to save and then submit it. Now when we press the submit button, that is what will actually send out the emails based on our setup. Here we have a sample of the email that will arrive to the approver, letting them know that they have a new purchase order with this particular number ready for them to approve. Okay, now I've logged back into the system as the admin, so that way we can go in and approve the purchase order. Now when they log in, it'll look something like this, and if you have multiple open purchase orders, they'll all be listed here. So it is quite helpful to be able to come down and restrict the view to just the purchase orders which need your approval. Now this is what the PO looks like once it's opened. It'll indicate here with this first section that it was completely finished and submitted. The next section here shows that it's pending approval, which we can use either the approve or the reject button to do. Now for this particular example, we're going to go ahead and approve it. I've logged back in as our full user. And since the PO has been approved, we can now receive against that purchase order. So for that, here in the Receive transaction, we simply come down to the Purchase Order dropdown and select the purchase order that we've created. Now this is going to bring in all your pertinent details, and at this point, we can go in and verify that the correct quantity has arrived. If not, we can make the adjustments here prior to processing it. If everything's correct, we simply need to select a location that we'll be receiving it into and process the transaction. We've now verified the transaction has gone through and everything has been received. And that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for joining. I hope to see you in future ones.